let us talk about the subjects that you have to prepare for electronic science. The first one is ADC. How you have to prepare is remember formula, remember the fundamental concepts. That is very, very important. And in VLSI, you need to focus on MOSFETs and fabrication steps. And in network signals, in networks, you need to focus on theorems, two port networks. And in the case of signals, fundamental things you should go through and filter design you should go through. And in analog, BJTs you should go through. PN junction diode, op amp topic is very very important. Oscillators are important. Multi vibrators are very very important. And next thing is let us talk about digital circuits. In digital circuits, you need to focus on combinational circuits. And in combinational circuits, the important topics are half adder, full adder, half subtractor, full subtractor. Next, you should focus even on Boolean. You should be very much familiar with respect to the types of A to D converters and D to A converters. Time it is taking in order to evaluate the input that is in microprocessor 8086 and 8051 architecture and programming part is important emtl maxwell's equations transmission lines waveguides antennas these topics are important analog and digital communication you know how, how much the subject weighs the subject weighs lots of good marks so you need to be very much familiar with respect to modulation and demodulation techniques LEDs and lasers, the difference you need to go through, fabrication process you need to go through. Also, you should go through optical fibers, which is very, very important and which is an emerging topic. And of course, IoT, you should be very much familiar. Power electronics and control systems, you need to know what do you mean by power electronics, advantages and disadvantages of power electronics, applications of power electronics. You're going to make use of thyristors, and in thyristors, you should talk about SCR, GTO, track, DAC. But main thing is you need to focus on SCR. How thyristor is protected? Nothing but there are three ways. Snubber circuit, DIY by DT protection, nothing but over current protection, DV by DT protection or over voltage protection. These things are very, very important. Also, you need to focus on choppers, applications includes UPS is very, very important. And in close loop, sorry. And in control systems, you need to focus on what do you mean by Closed loop control systems and what do you mean by open loop control systems? Difference between it you have to go through. And sensitivity of both open loop control systems and closed loop control systems is very, very important. And if I'm talking about stability, you can find stability in time domain analysis and frequency domain analysis. In time domain analysis, you need to go through RH criteria and root locus. And in frequency domain analysis, you should go through Bode plot and Nyquist plot. Remember, Pora plot is a subset of Nyquist plot. Also, the topics like controllers and compensators are also important in that you need to focus on PID controllers. And there is one, let us talk about EDC syllabus in detail, which topic is very, very important. Let us go through. One is very, very important, PN junction diode, and you are having breakdown, Zeno breakdown, and avalanche breakdown, tunnel diode breakdown. These topics are very, very important. And you need to be very much familiar with respect to JFETs and MOSFETs. When the transistor will be in linear region, when it will be in saturation region, is threshold voltage positive or negative for it? And you need to be very much familiar with respect to the differentiation of how you can differentiate photodiode with solar cell. What are the applications of photodiode? What are the applications of solar cell? The basic working principle you should go through. And formulas, I'm telling, it is very, very important. Now, let us talk about VLSI. In VLSI, fabrication steps are very, very important. And in MOSFETs, you need to focus more on CMOS. In the CMOS, we know it is made up of NMOS and PMOS. What is the difference between NMOS and PMOS? Where it is used? Which one is capable of passing strong logic 1 or strong logic 0? What do you mean by transmission gate? What do you mean by pass transistors? And what do you mean by charge coupled device? And layouts you have to go through. And if I'm talking about networks, theorems are very, very important. Few theorems you have studied, that is superposition theorem, very, very important. Thevenians and Norton's theorems, very, very important. Maximum power transfer theorem, three cases are there. Go through three cases also. Two port networks, you should not miss it. In two port networks, focus on reciprocity and symmetric condition. And the signals go through fundamental things and go through filter design. What do you mean by interpolation and what do you mean by decimation? What do you mean by circular convolution? You have to go through. 
what do you mean by cross correlation and what do you mean by auto correlation you should go through and if i'm talking about analog and if i'm talking about analog you should go through what do you mean by diode what do you mean by bjt what do you mean by fats what do you mean by feedback you are having two types of feedback positive feedback and negative feedback for positive feedback you are going to use in oscillators and negative feedback you are going to make use in amplifiers different oscillators are there hartley oscillator colpitt's oscillator phase shift oscillator and weinbridge oscillator crystal oscillator you have to go through and what do you mean the opam mu s one for one what are the applications of it which and all circuits you can derive inverting configuration non inverting configuration summer differentiator difference integrator voltage buffer logarithmic amplifier anti logarithmic amplifier you should go through apart from this smith trigger and instrumentation amplifier is very very important whenever you are going to make use of smith trigger you are going to operate in positive feedback configuration phase lock loop and by synchronous circuits and what do you mean by asynchronous circuits you should know and the emerging topic is what is the difference between a to d and e to a converters what are the types of a to d and e to a converters that are available in the market and in microprocessor 8086 and microcontroller 8051 you should go through architecture and the program that are involved how many cycles it is going to take in order to execute so and so instructions you should be thorough and if i'm talking about emtl main equation is poisson equation and laplace equation maxwell equations is very very important straight away they can ask what do you mean by curl e how or how curl h is expressed or how d, del dot d is expressed or del dot b is expressed right now the important topics here are transmission lines and wave guides and antenna topic is also important and in microwaves and radars if i am talking you need to be very much familiar with respect to gun diode impact diode and pin diode and in radar radar range equation is very very important and frequencies block diagram what do you mean by clutter what do you mean by uh, clutter jitter all those things are very very important next if i'm talking about analog communication and digital communication in analog communication and digital communications modulation techniques are there and demodulation techniques are there what is the difference between each and everything you should know super repeater time receiver is very very important and look at over here in this ask fsk psk bpsk qpsk qam what is the probability of error that is very very important and constellation diagram is also important what is the difference between time de time division multiple access what do you mean by frequency division multiple what is an emerging topic so this topic is very very important and you can expect at least one or two bits from iot topic and if i am talking about power electronics in this power electronics the important topics are the advantages of power electronics what is the disadvantages of power electronics which symbols we are going to use which circuits you are going to use in power electronics which devices you are going to use in power electronics and main thing is like thyristor topic is very very important and if i am talking about thyristor several classifications are there like ser diac triac gto out of this ser is very very important thyristor protection circuits you will be having snubber circuit da by dt protection dv by dt protection this topic is very very important also you should know the applications of power electronics where it is used and how it is used and how protection is time domain analysis and frequency domain analysis in time domain analysis we are having two techniques one is rh criteria and the second one is root locus in the frequency domain analysis you are having bode plot and nyquist plot make sure that polar plot is a subset of nyquist plot only and topics like controllers and compensators you need to go through and what do you mean by high pass filter what do you mean by low pass filter what are the transfer functions of high pass filter and low pass filters is very very important pid controllers topic is important one very very important topic is steady state error and in second order system you need to focus on the formulas that are involved in rise time fall time peak time settling time peak overshoot and maximum peak overshoot this topics are very very important 
and make your sure LVDT and what do you mean by Hall effect? Hall effect is almost zero in metals. This is important and you want to and you should focus on bridges. You are having Shearing bridge, Wheatstone bridge, Kelvin's bridge, Kelvin's double bridge and many bridges are there you should go through. Apart from this, mega instrument is very very important. How you are going to find resistance if the resistance is of very low value, medium value and very high value subjects. You have to finish first is EMTL, transducers, analog and digital communications and EDC and signals you need to finish first. Rest all the topics you can take it later. Thank you for being on my YouTube channel. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and kindly subscribe to my channel Craving Gyan. Thank you.